Someone I'm a little bit put yeah. off by though is your your guy Little Yachty, king of the king of the teens. Uh, man, this album was t- was a tough listen I mean, for me. <laughs> um, how did you feel Boat about? Too? No, how did you feel about Little Boat too though? Yeah, so it's uh, this you can't. I I couldn't think about this in a vacuum. I have to think about it when I think about the rest of his music. Okay, and um. Teenage Emotions, his debut album that we talked about last year, uh-huh. was not good at all. Um, very singy. Yep. But also just quite poor. There just wasn't a lot there that was. And Logic, or Logic, Yachty actually talked about um, that leading up to this album. And he was basically saying that it's, it's a weird comparison, but in, the principle makes sense. He was like, what if Kanye released 808s as his second album? He, it's just such a tonal shift that it just throws your fans off, right? And I actually think that kind of makes sense where he went from the debut Little Boat project where one night in Minnesota his first hits are from, then he released Teenage Emotion, which is so out there, so different, right? And I get that. But then he released Little Boat 2 where he just kind of doubles down on the rapping, right? And it's basically a straight trap. He really is buying into his uh, quality control, his media's influence, right? Right. And I think it's Fong's on there. But it's still missing earworm talent that, that Yadi is good at. And he just doesn't do that on this. He's just making basic trap. And we don't want Yadi to do that because that's not why we listen to Yadi. Broccoli mm-hmm. is not one of those songs. Neither is I Spy or his right. first hits. You know, I mean, Little Boat had deep cuts. Little Boat 2, I mean, look, I think NBA Young Boat with uh, NBA Young Boy, I think that song's actually a banger. Mm-hmm. But I mean, overall, there's some good features on here, some good moments from Yadi, but. It's just not quite what we need him to do. It, it was almost like a oh, he over he course corrected, you know. Yeah, so that's my take on it. Yeah, the the whole thing to me basically. Um, so I was listening to this in the car as I was driving somewhere, and usually, like in a in the cars where I just appreciate the sound of an album, and I'm like bumping around. Some of the songs got me moving a little bit, like my shoulders, uh, you know, going up and down, my head bobbing with the beat. But most of all, mm-hmm. every time I tuned into the lyrics, it basically just like. Oh, I'm rich and you're you're a broke boy and that that's why you suck yeah. and I'm awesome. And I was like, if every single song is like that on an album, I just man, I, I can't. And like I, I get he's 20 and I think he probably doesn't have a ton to say right now. Um, because he just has he hasn't had a lot of life experience. But damn, like I, I guess I was hoping for something a little bit more inventive, and like you said, he pretty much went straight trap and it's disappointing to me. Yeah, he's definitely still finding what he needs to do. It's got to be it's definitely not teenage emotions. That was too far. No. But then going all the way to where we are now with Little Boat 2 is too far. Something middle. I think he can get there. And Yadi, I, I mean, I'm not saying it's not a good mind. It's Oksan. But I think, I think, I mean, heck, he made this tonal shift. He's got a lot of, a lot of support. Mm-hmm. And he's still got a lot of fans. It's out, this is going to do better numbers than teenage emotions, which is a good sign. Uh, Teenage Emotions, I mean, fucking Uzi and X and A Boogie, they like doubled his sales with their first album. So Yachty was in a kind of a rough spot where he was more famous than he was commercially viable musically. But I think that's changed a little bit. So now he just needs to kind of course correct a little bit more with his music. But yeah, a little bow too in the meantime. Yeah, uh, I think, and uh, check out our, our playlist. The only song from this that maybe would make it would be the, the one with, uh, what, what was his name, NBA? <laughs> so I think either that song or the one, uh, or TWM, would be the only two songs from this album that will probably make our Nostalgia Best Of list. Uh, TWM is probably the the strongest uh, Yachty performance, just lyrically, on this. Mm-hmm. Um, and just spit it, flow in general. 